you attract these things into your life to teach you about your own belief system so that you can then elevate that belief and change that belief. I can never get it when I'm on the ground. You can never get it when you pull me down. Even when I fall, let's be open now. Something about the space that I honor now. Something about the race of the richest town. Something about this place falling down. I don't wanna glow up just to watch you drown. This ain't Holly Choco, we in fighting now. Hey, it's Zana. So this is part two of the Essene Mirrors. I'm making videos for all seven because this shit will transform your life, I'm just saying. So I will link the playlist down below for the full seven if you wanna check them out. But this is the second one, which states that you attract what you judge. And I feel like this one is so clear when you notice your judgments, when you notice things about yourself and the way that you judge people and judge different situations. It really shows you about your beliefs. And then when certain things come into your life, you begin to understand why and what they're actually showing you about the belief that you hold because oftentimes our beliefs are there and we're not even aware of them so i realize that with judgment you attract what you judge so it could be a situation and i'm going to speak from personal experience which is kind of weird for me to share this but fuck it this is what we're doing here so i realized that i judged people with money because I grew up, my mum was a single mum for the majority of my childhood, like the first half of my childhood at least. And in, then even when she did marry, like the money was spread thin. So I realised now that I'm older, when I look back, a belief that I held was a lack mentality when it comes to money. So whenever I was around people that had money, especially um, when I was a young child and I was around other children whose parents had money, so then the children would like just the, the way that they viewed money and how they could get what they want kind of thing, like they could have anything that they wanted. I would always judge that and I never really understood why. But now that I understand the mirrors, I realise the reason that I was meeting a lot of people that had money or like, not necessarily had money, but that would flash money or like, you know, like you can attract different situations and different types of people. And I realized that the reason why I was coming into contact with these people who didn't really care about money or they could just buy whatever they wanted or spend whatever they wanted was because of my belief. Like it was something that they were showing me was about my beliefs, you know? And obviously they have their own lives and they're doing their own thing. So they're not aware of what they're there to teach me. But we come into contact with people for a reason, you know? Like the reason why they've become a part of my life, the reason why we had an interaction is because they were revealing to me something about myself. And I realized now that I understand these mirrors, they were showing me my lack mentality essentially because I would judge money and I never understood why I would judge it or why I would like fear it and look down upon it you know and it's because of my lack mentality so you attract things that you judge so so you could judge strong women like you could judge the way that they the way that women carry themselves or the way that they do certain things and then you could find that you attract a lot of women with those same qualities you know like you could attract strong um business women who go after their goals or something like if you judge women and you feel like they need to stay at home and care for children you could find that you come into contact with a lot of women that don't do that you know because it's something that you judge so it's showing you something about your own belief system that you need to work on and elevate essentially you know and like you're not going to realize that you judge women who go after their goals or something this is just a random example but you're not going to realize that that's a belief that you hold unless you actually see those types of women you know like you're not going to realize that you um judge say you're a child and you judge girls that are confident you're not going to realize that you judge that and that you don't like that until you actually see young girls that are confident do you know what i mean so like you attract these things into your life to teach you about your own belief system so that you can then elevate that belief and change that belief. And also then you can look at the beliefs that serve you and keep those ones and like accentuate those ones and then shift the ones that you don't actually like. So it's all just about transcending the ego and understanding the ego, you know, unraveling it so that you can then let go of these limiting beliefs, which is basically letting go of your humanity, letting go of the human ideas. So I definitely think these 
um, mirrors are powerful, powerful things to understand because then you can use them to your benefit and your advantage. So I hope that this video helped and explained um, and probably got you thinking about the things that you do actually judge. Like when you really look at different things that you look down upon or that you don't even like, like you might not look down upon it, you might actually feel inferior to it. You might think that that thing is way more powerful than you. And when you look at the way that you perceive certain things, whether it's superior or inferior, you'll start to understand your belief system. So then when things do come into your, your life, you can go through the list of these mirrors and be like, do I judge anything about this person? Is there something that I don't like? Is there something that I fear? And then you can take the other mirrors, like the first mirror that I talked about, which is about you attract who you are. You can then look at it and be like, do I have any of these qualities that this person is showing me, you know? And once you work your way through them, you can then realise exactly what that lesson is. And you may find that it has um, qualities of different mirrors, like it could have multiple, you know, because it's really showing you about your own beliefs. And that's why it's there to serve a purpose. So no situation, no experience and no relationship um, is for no reason. Like they all serve a purpose. They can all teach you something about yourself, you know, even if it's absolute shit, it can still benefit you in some way. So yeah that's it for this video i hope it was helpful all my links to music and social media will be in the description box below and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified when i upload a next video we're doing three a week so you know we're firing them out today <laughs> this is the second one i filmed so yeah i feel like i'm rambling now but anyway thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye I need a man that will hold me down If he a yes man, I ain't keeping him around I need a